Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very unique and new recipe of spinach. It's so tasty that you cannot guess about the taste until you make it yourself. And it's easy too. So I have taken one bundle of spinach and cut them into pieces and after that I washed them properly. And here I am taking two brinjals and cutting them into pieces. Before cutting I washed them properly of course. After cutting, we need a pressure cooker so that we pressure cook them. So, I am taking a small size pressure cooker here and now we need to add the brinjals, chopped brinjals into the pressure cooker. After adding brinjals, we need to add a small quantity of salt, not too much. And after that, we need to add the spinach. There is some water with the spinach because I just washed them and drained the water. With this water we need to add the spinach and we don't need to add any excess water with it. After adding spinach, I am covering the lid and now we need to cook it on medium heat until two whistles. So let's put it to cook and within this time I am showing you what else are needed. So here I have taken one medium sized tomato finely chopped, two medium sized onions finely chopped, 8 to 10 cloves of garlic finely chopped and some chopped green chilies according to taste. Along with all these things you may take some fresh chopped coriander leaves if you want to use them. And the rest of the things are already available in the kitchen so I am showing them later. And in the meantime our spinach and brinjals are ready. You can notice that the quantity is so much decreased. And now I am showing you checking it. All the stem parts are also cooked very well. Actually pressure cooker is must for this recipe. So don't skip it. So guys let's keep it aside and go for the pan. At first we need to add some cooking oil in the pan. And we need to heat it well. After the oil is heated well we need to add some tadka. Half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds. After all the tarkas are crackled well, we need to add the garlic cloves at first. So I am adding them. The heat should be on low now at this time because the garlic should not burn at all. So after adding garlic, we need to wait for only uh, 5 to 6 seconds and after that we need to add the onions in the pan quickly. And now we need to fry the onions until a nice brown color on medium heat. After the color has started to be brown, we need to add the tomatoes and the green chilies as well. After adding tomatoes, we need to add some salt according to taste. We have to remember that we added some salt in the pressure cooker. So remember that and add some salt according to taste. And I added 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder as well. After the tomatoes are soft nicely, we need to add the mixture of uh, spinach and brinjal. So here it is. You can see that there is some water in the pressure cooker and we don't have to throw this water. This water is full of nutrient values, so don't throw it. I am adding all the things in the pressure cooker into the pan. And after that we need to mix everything very well. The heat is in medium now and we need to dry up the water. We need to stir it occasionally to avoid burn from the bottom. And after about 5 to 6 minutes on medium heat, the water is dried up as you can see. So at the end of this recipe, you may add some fresh coriander leaves if you want to add them. But actually in this special recipe, I don't add coriander leaves because I think the original taste of this recipe reduces when I add some coriander leaves. So I skip them. So guys, our super tasty spinach, brinjal, bharta or chutney is ready. It's really so much delicious with boiled rice and roti and chapati as well.